Hey everybody! Welcome to another video where I do whatever I want and today I want to try out weird cleaning product tools gadgets that I found on Amazon because what else would I do with my time? They're weird, they're fun, they probably won't work. Ready? Let's begin! All right, so the first product, we're not really testing this one, but I got a black light, a UV light, just to really show where the gross things are in my house. Because I have a dog and he slobbers on everything. So let's see where he slobbered, shall we? So I'm gonna turn off the light and see what this bad boy can do. Whoa! Christmas. A Christmas? Halloween. What is with me? Anyway, here's my couch and there's a bunch of fuzz. Can you even see it? I don't know if you can see it. It's a bunch of fuzz, lots of fuzz. This is normal. This is all very normal. It's just showing me a bunch of fuzz. And I know there are slobber marks on this couch, so I don't know if it's really doing its job. It's just showing me all the fuzz. Let's look at my carpet. I know there's slobber all over this rug. And I know that there's supposed to be mud. All it's doing is just, it's just glowing in the dark. I'm just having a rave. At this point, I'm just having a rave. Okay, this thing sucked. It didn't do anything. It just showed me that I have fuzz in my room. Great. I know this room is filled with dog saliva. Where is it? There is a thing of mud I can see with the lights on, but it wouldn't show up with the lights off in this thing. What is this supposed to do? Room Raider said this showed gross things. It doesn't. I like that I'm openly admitting that there's gross things in my house. <laughs> okay, now for the real first real product. It's Color Coral Universal Dust Cleaner. So basically what I got is this is slime that you put on like your keyboard or your calculator or th things with crevices. Electronics with crevices. This is a gross word but we're using it. And you put the slime on top and you peel the slime off and it takes off all the gross stuff. But my thing is, how often can you use it? Because once you use it once, isn't it dirty and gross? Like, yeah, it's just slime. Like it's like a cleaning place just got on the slime trend. Smells lemony fresh. Let's try and destroy something with this. All right, so I'm gonna straight up just risk the safety of my keyboard for this thing. I mean, the cracks don't go very deep. There's definitely like dirt. There's definitely, you know, there's makeup up here. It needs to, it needs to be cleaned. All right, so let's try this. There were no instructions. Bye container. So from what I gather, you just put it on. It did not get the makeup. Oh, now my computer's awake and back asleep and there's hair on it now. So, yeah, I don't really know if it cleaned it. <laughs> the makeup's still there, but like the fuzz and the hair, that's all gone. I think you're supposed to let it sit so that it molds to the keyboard. Again, no instructions. Oh, let's go with the container while I'm waiting. Let's try. So you can see on the slime that, it, well you can't because it's too hard to focus it. It does take the shape of the keyboard and it picks up fuzz. I don't know if it's necessary cleaning it. It's still got gunk on it. What else can I do this on? You're supposed to do it on electronics with divots. <laughs> We don't have like phones with buttons anymore. Hold on. All right, I found an old keyboard that the buttons are deeper. Like you know how things get thinner as time goes on. So I'm gonna stretch this out. I'm gonna put it on the keyboard and I'm gonna let it sit. Also play with it a little bit. Can't you just use a vacuum for this? What's the point? I don't get it. I don't get what this does. Do not eat it. There's no instructions. I don't get. It's just a dust collector. Use a vacuum. It's not that hard. This is taking a very long time to mold to the sections. <sighs> I'm bored. Take it off now. Doesn't look like it got anything. <laughs> I would say this thing's a bust. This is literally just a jar of slime that they were like, how do we get parents to buy slime? That's pretty much all this is. They got me, they got me good. Just use a compressed air can or a vacuum. Does the same thing. Next product. These ones I'm very excited for. They're slippers that you put dusters on the end and then when you walk around your house, it collects all the dust. And they're little tiny cows. And look, they came with multiple because you could take it off and then you stick the other one on and then you mis machine wash these ones. I'm gonna have the cleanest floors in all the land, which is very unlikely though still because I have a dog that likes to run in the mud and then run inside. He does what he wants. Things can be cleaned. And we're gonna try and clean them with these. Oh, dog mud, you've met your match. Can you see the dog dirt that's everywhere because of you? Oh, man. So I'm gonna put on my slippers and see if I can just walk over this and it gets rid of it. Dog, these are not for you. You can sniff, gentle. Good boy. All right, let's walk around. Ooh. What? <laughs> this is 
is not a time for that. You know, these are quite comfortable and all I have the urge to do is this. <laughs> They're great slidey socks. Let's check the bottom of the slippers and the mud section. Okay, the mud section has been cleared up a bit. I mean, there's still some stragglers. For the most part, the mud is picked up in that section right there. Now let's check the bottom of the shoes. Dog, dog, I'm not on the ground for you. I'm on the ground because of you. All right, we need to look at the shoes. I mean, they're, can you not for like one second? Can you just, no, <laughs> just take things out of my hands. I'm working. Blaze, mommy's working. Back up. Anyway, they're kind of gross, but they're not that nasty. Like you could wear these around for a couple days before having to wash them. I just think I found my new favorite thing, Blaze. I think these are amazing. I don't know how much I'm gonna want to put these in my washer, but like right now, I'm all about these. I'm a walk and clean at the same time. Doug, you're making, like, I can't film when your head is in front of the camera. Thank you, kids these days. Oh, me? Anyway, I think these are a giant win. Next product. It is a brush that you put in your drill and then that does the work for you. <laughs> so confused by this. Okay, so I have three brushes. They all mean something different. The red is for outdoor siding, brick, garage, and gutters. So this is intense, like, you, I, it's gonna scratch it. The white, is for furniture, carpet, chairs, glass, and leather. Still feel like that's too tough. And the yellow is for bathrooms, bathtub, showers, tile, and porcelain. So we're gonna attach these to my drill and go vroom vroom on my bathroom tiles. Here we are in my bathroom. I'm gonna show you the before picture. So we got some uh, suction cup things from some bathtub videos. Got some specks. I don't know what that is. A little grime in between. We're gonna focus on this area. Okay. God, this is atrocious. Spray some all natural cleaner and let's go. Oh, that works. Okay, didn't get off whatever this is, but oh my gosh, that works. The suction cup thing is gone. Some of the filth in here is gone. The only thing that left is that, but I don't even know what that is. And that I think is a chip. Oh my God. Wait, okay, let's see if we can get some of this gunk out of here. This is exciting. Okay, that didn't do too much. <laughs> that barely did anything. But it did some of the tile. I don't know. I think with a lot of stuff, it's more like the cleaner you use and not much the scrubber. Here's my issue with it. You can't get small crevices. It's very much like a big surface. You try and get like in cracks and whatnot, it's not very good for that. <laughs> it does not bend. And so the plastic will scrape against stuff at a very high speed. So I'm gonna say this is an okay product and I think it's more the cleaner you use because I know Magic Eraser could have done the same thing. Maybe not like the grout in between here. I think it's good for like the rough stuff or like a sponge or paper towel, a Magic Eraser would just crumble. I think it's good for that. So like a bathtub, you just use Magic Eraser. Man, <laughs> same thing. I guess this is my, more eco friendly. Oh no, it's electric. Next product. This one I already see flaws with. This one is what started this. Someone sent this to me and I went, How can I put this in a video? It's not really cleaning, but like, you know, when you're done cleaning and then like the house still doesn't look clean because there's like scuffs on the wall. That's the end of that sentence. This is for that. So you know when you have leftover paint in your can and it's just a small little amount. You have to store the whole can just to do touch-ups in the future. Not anymore, because with this thing, touch-up painter, you store the little leftover paint you have in it and whenever you need to, you just paint with it attached. But here's the thing, how do you clean that? Because I feel like when you're cleaning it, it's just gonna come out. Don't use for oil-based paint. Okay, I gotta check that out. But anyway, hey, if this works, woo-hoo. If it doesn't, woo-boo. Let's try it though. Because there's already needing touch-ups. I just painted my whole house and there are many more touch-ups I need to do. Okay, so we just painted the bathroom and there are some spots that we missed here and here. So one, I have to take this thing off. Now, I put the paint in this thing. It was actually pretty easy. This is rubber, which I didn't expect. And I cleaned the can off with the top of this so it's already got some stuff on it. But right now it's connected to seal and store. So I'm gonna flip it to apply paint. And let's see how this works. Okay, it doesn't really roll all that much. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's coming out. Okay. 
Okay, it only rolls well one way. Is it coming out? I can't tell if it's coming out. There it is. There. Oh, my hair is in it. Yeah, there. Here we go. Oh, I actually kind of really like this. It's really neat and easy. Did I miss anywhere else? Let me go find some other spots. Hold on. Okay, negative. It can't do tight spaces. Like, can't get in there. So the thing. So it's very much as if your touch up is in a wide open spot, such as here, then it's fine. It doesn't do nooks and crannies, people. So it actually cleaned really well. And since it was sealed, I could get the whole thing wet, which was nice. I think it's a good product. I think I'm okay with this. I don't think it's gonna last forever because these brushes only have a certain amount of time they can be washed before they just completely fray. I don't know how well it's gonna stay on the shelf, but it seems pretty good to me. I think I like this product. I'm gonna keep this in my bathroom, so if anything happens, I have it handy and it's super easy to use. <laughs> I like it. I approve. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to have a very clean house if I clean it. <laughs> maybe using these tools, maybe not. If you liked any of these, I will put them all in my Amazon playlist and I'll link that below. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. Make sure you check out my vlog channel and the podcast I do with my mom, All Things Internet. New episodes every Monday. Did I say episodes? You know what I meant. Let's do a shout out for today. The person retweeted my assumptions video, which I titled The Truth About Me. You all thought I was gonna come out of the closet. We will do Rose. Thank you so much, Rose, for retweeting that. I love you guys so much. And remember, above all else, stay awesome, possums.